Yo, what's going on, y'all? Today I'm gonna be breaking down how to make crazy internet money style loops and beats uh, for the likes of like Juice World, uh, Lil Tecca. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how you can make crazy beats that sound similar to what internet money's making. Also, right, let's get straight into it. The first thing I opened up was this contact, this instant contact, and uh, this is what the final sound sounds like, or what the melody sounds like. Honestly, it's nothing really special going on with this. Uh, the first thing I did is I just start off with the chords. Um, and I kept it really simple. Right now we're in, it looks like we're in B minor. So I just went up and put a B chord. So just B, B, F sharp, B. I excluded the D. And I just moved it down to G. So then over here, I just switched it up a little bit and had it ascending back up to B. And I mean, after that, I just made like this kind of middle layer. Um, hold up, I'm gonna delete this too because it's not really part of the middle layer. So I just wanted to play off this B and this D um, and F sharp. So I was just playing off these, this chord. And then I wanted to flow back into this. And then I kind of, I like this little roll thing over here, but I just wanted something that sounds kind of simple and flows. It's really simple. I mean, there's nothing really much going on, but this is just to give the entire melody body um, it's kind of on the low end and it just gives it kind of more bass to work off of. Afterwards, I kind of added this like semi top line. Um, and it's just some rolls and some descending patterns. So I really like this B, A, G, F sharp thing. So that was kind of centralized throughout the entire loop and I repeated that. And I wanted to utilize this D and C sharp. So I just kept that in there too. So again, like dummy simple. Um, and I guess like the finishing touch was just adding a top line to kind of go over everything. So to add the top line, I wanted to just start off on the root note, which is F sharp, or not the root note, I'm sorry, start off on the fifth. And then just again, copy this downwards descending pattern and then go back up. And then I like this little A, G, F sharp thing. So I just put that in there and then I change it up over here. And yeah, that's it. Afterwards, I kind of wanted to like accent that top line. So I found another sound in contact. Oh yeah, the first sound in contact was uh, the warm glow from Hybrid Keys, and this one's called the Sandcastle. It's a mallet, I think. I just wanted to accent that, so I copied over the pattern and I just, you know, pitched it down an octave, pitched it down five semitones to add a little bit more texture to the melody. Uh, this is what it sounds like. And I just kept this kind of quiet. I didn't like it that much, but I just didn't want to delete it, I guess. Afterwards, I went back into contact. I got this sound called um, Perceptions. And I just made like a counter melody. Uh, so I like, I just wanted to make this repeating melody thing. And uh, I just had it go up and then I had a high G over here. And this is what it sounds like. Uh, and how to make melodies like this that really just accent the main melody really nicely is, well, first I just want a root note pattern that I like. And uh, after I got the bass line down, I just copied the bass notes. Uh, I just like, I just added like the super simple rhythm going through the entire melody that uh, just has like these quarter note patterns playing except on this beat. Uh, and then a few like eighth notes or fourth notes. I don't know what it's called. Okay. And then once I got that down, I went into Electra X to find like some kind of lucky sound. I got the key magic from KC Supreme of Andor Bank. And I just wanted to make like this little ascending melody to again accent the other melody. And then I added this like high F sharp because it reminds me of uh, Robbery by Juice World. And, and I wanted to kind of like, you know, replicate that. So this is what this sounds like. And with this low thing, I think I just did it so I could copy or just press Control B and copy it over. But then I ended up really liking how it sounded, so I just kept it in there. Just adds like this little grit and it transitions back into the B really nicely. So once I had that down, I wanted one more kind of main accent melody. Um, most of these accent melodies you can't really hear when everything's being played because it gets overshadowed by this. But for the verses, these accent melodies are really important because for all the verses, I'm not playing either of the two kind of main melodies. So the accent melody is really got to shine through. And I just found this one shot from a Nico Baron one shot kit. I just really copy the chords. So this first chord is a B minor, so I'm playing F sharp B. Um, the second chord is a G major, I think, but I just changed it up because it sounded better to a D F sharp. Uh, the third chord right here is also a B minor, so again, F sharp B. 
and then this fourth chord it's really like uh this this part over here is a g major so i have the d for that but then this part is an a major so i have an e a to correspond to that and i just have this high e c sharp because it sounded good um this is what that sounds like So yeah, it just accents everything really nicely. And the last like major melodic piece in this loop was just an art from Electra X because I felt like the entire loop could use a little bit more, just a little bit more. So I just added this art and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, it's just, it's simple. It's in the background, uh, nothing crazy. Um, and I guess you can count the bass. The bass is just a preset from Expand called, let's see. Uh, subsonic too and it's just like a simple bass that I use for the intro so yeah this is the final loop sounds like all together So the drums, uh, with the drums, I just wanted like a kind of ignorant, hard kind of vibe, while also keeping it pretty spacious. So the first thing I always do with my drums is I get a clap going, just like a simple clap running my drum kits. Yeah, and then after the clap, you know, we got the hi-hat pattern right, so I was just kind of listening to the melody, and I just, uh, what I do with my hi-hats, I go over here, I go to like, I use like two, like, unique rolls, I guess. So I'll go to triplet, and I'll just, you know, do some crazy shit, and then... I'll go over here, and yeah, it's just, these are all triplet rolls, except this one fast one, I think is probably in fourth beat. So yeah, I only use like two different types of rolls, and I just kept it pretty simple throughout the entire pattern, so it sounds like. I didn't want to go crazy with the rolls, because I didn't feel like the melody needed it, but I just wanted to feed to spice it up, and then, uh, this low roll is really fire. It's just like this, I don't know, I've been doing this a lot more recently where I add these like really low hi-hat rolls for like transitions. So either like before the clap or like at the end of a two bar phrase. I, it just sounds really cool. It just adds like a cool texture and vibe to it. And after that, I just added like a basic snare sound um, and it's playing a really basic pattern. Uh, but yeah, I just like snares and beats that play basic patterns. I feel like it just adds rhythm. Then I added these three perks. So the first perk I added was a Zay Shaker. And it's just playing on the downbeat to like accentuate the downbeat. Um, and the other two perks I added were these two open hat patterns. And they're a little bit more unique because normally with open hats, you play them like every bar, every two bars, like on this note or on this note. And you play them like over and over again. But with this one, I left a lot of space between the two open hat patterns or between the two open hat notes. And then uh, I just have like a little response and it's this little short thing. So this is what everything sounds like beside the 808 and the kick. So, I mean, yeah, everything's just hitting like I want it to hit. Uh, so, once I get the bounce down, that's when I add the 808 and the kick. The 808, uh, it's like, I just wanted this really ignorant sounding 808. So, um, I grabbed the one that sounded super distorted. And then I just have it playing literal root notes throughout the entire thing, except this one F sharp, which is, you know, just kind of transition it back to the D. And this is what that sounds like. So, I mean, yeah, it's like super simple. Um, and then as for the kick, I just really wanted to support the 808. So it's not playing every beat, but it's just playing uh, the beats that I felt like it sounded right. And I don't know why there's a little slide note there. It's probably an accident, but yeah. Oh, and then one last thing, I added this little snare roll, which sounds like this. Uh, and I'll just let y'all hear the drums all together by itself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, let me know what y'all want to see next. Peace out.